Hey, so here's what happens if you replace one note of the minor pentatonic scale. If I took a major three and put it in place of the minor three of a minor pentatonic scale, then instead of having this scale, I have this scale. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so think of minor pentatonic, but with a major third, you can have the the one of the scale, that's the A in this case. We won't have a two. Think of the major scale. We won't have a two, so we go from the one to the major three, to the four, to the five, to the flat seven. Back to the one. So it ends up being. And we can go down to the G down there, the flat seven, and we can go to the open E. That's the five. So all we have is one, three, four, five, flat seven. So that's the five, the big E. This is the flat seven, the G, and we're back to the one. After the one, we have three, four, five, flat seven, one, three, four, five, flat seven, one. Or we could look at it like this. One, three, four, five, flat seven, one, three, four, five, flat seven, one. I call this one the Diener scale because I feel like Dean Ween from Ween uses this scale a lot and I think it sounds really cool because it's kind of it's a major but it has that minor edge but it's kind of doesn't have too many notes in it like a pentatonic but it has a lot more colorful character to it because of that major third in place but it still has the bluesy edge kind of a dark minor bluesy edge but it has this happy note in it too that keeps coming back and since those notes that three four five they're all right there together you can do really cool things going back to the root with them like throw that flat seven in there and it gets real cool. So I'm going to play a little bit, I'm going to improvise a little bit on that and kind of give you some ideas and then I'll give you a little backing track to kind of jam over with. positions you see like you got these notes here and then you also have whoop, that's where you leave that two out you know it's kind of a habit to do that so it's kind of interesting to have to not play that note I mean you still could but if you wanted to really stick to the scale and really kind of get it down you get used to trying to avoid it you know So you got 9, 10, 12, 10, 12, 11, 12, and then here you can slide up to that 14 because that was your 1, 3, 4, 5, flat 7, 1. And you got these notes down here. Highest position would be. 21 and 17, 20 and 17, 19, 18, 19, 17, 19, 17, 16, 17, 13, I mean 15, 17, 15, 12. So I'll do one more jam, I'll give you a little backing kind of thing after that. Thank you. 
Okay, so let me give you a little backing track. Like something like Voodoo Lady by Ween would be one where you could play that little. So once you try that scale out, remember we got the five, we got the three and the O if we want. Five, four, five, seven, five, seven, six, seven. And you can either go five, eight, five, nine here, or you could take that six, seven to the nine and got eight, ten, nine, ten, twelve. You got all those notes. We got more up here. So it's a super fun scale. So let me give you that little backing thing again. Give that scale a try. I hope you all like that. I'm Damon Wood. Please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or any requests. And right on the Dean Ween scale. That's what I call it. I know he has a scale he calls the Dickie Betts. So maybe we'll go into that in one of these next lessons. I'll research it a bit. All right. Take care, y'all. Thanks a lot.